Welcome, let's talk about some of the developments from down to earth. The first is the Odisha weaver community, uh, the Ikat weavers and they are known for their unique bomkai designs. Now they have to compete with the uh, main market which is the uh, factory made produce and the yarns which are produced by the factory. The next is Moon Mission. Now the Pragyan 100 meter walk was one of the major uh, developments that we have seen but it's not just that. India's solar mission, the Aditya L1, the L1 is the Langres 1 point where you have the balance of the uh, of the gravity uh, between the sun and the earth and this is one of the very major points where Japan uh, has US, Europe and China have already uh, been working with the observatories and India's effort has been remarkable. So not just this, from the Aditya uh, L1 we are talking about some of the major missions for example Mangalyan for Mars, Shukrayan for Venus, Gaganyan for space, Chandrayan for moon as some of the important ones. Now the seven payloads of the aircraft are important. Now these focus the visible emission light coronagraph. Uh, the low energy x-ray uh, spectrograph studies the solar flare. We do have plasma uh, analyzer package for Aditya which is called as the plasma which understands the solar winds, the sun's corona and its composition. Now the Aditya solar wind experiment has two subsystems, Swiss and Steps. Swiss talks about solar wind ion spectrometer and Steps talks about supra thermal and energetic particle spectrometer. Now both are designed for high energy ions of the solar wind. Now talking about some of the uh, recent discoveries, there have been a constant hunt for water uh, in the lunar areas. Now <coughs> the lunar samples from NASA's Apollo have shown that there were no traces of water back in 72. Then we had the Clementine orbiter who has been working around the uh, lunar poles. Uh, the Chandrayaan data has shown the hydrated minerals and then we have seen the various ambitions that have come up with ISRO uh, as we already discussed. We have a series of SLVs which have been released. In 1980s, IRS was released. Then we have the PSLV and the GSLV versions that have been released. The launch of Chandrayaan has been remarkable. Now, as already discussed, the Shukrayaan Mangalyaan, the next important one is Exposit, which is the X-ray polarimeter satellite. Uh, the launch has not been yet announced, but this would study the black holes, the neutron stars using the X-ray technology. Solar, uh, the Lunar Polar Exploration Mission, again, the date has been not been announced, but it would investigate the presence of water in the lunar polar areas. AstroSat is another important idea through which space observatories would be taken into account. The next is rover payloads. Now under the rover payloads, La Ramba LP, the Langmoor probe is important and this would uh, actually talk about uh, the focus on uh, the concepts which have been uh, working under the uh, uh, studies for the uh, alpha particle x-ray spectrometer. Now Pragyant travels 100 meters from the landing site over the next three days for uh, oxygen, iron, sulfur, aluminium, calcium and chromium presence which have been identified. Now the next is the monsoon pattern. There have been uh, monsoon deficits which have been released. Now uh, the normal forecast was done for August however there has been a deficit rainfall for again for September there has been forecast for normal rainfall. There have been 14 drought years in the last 122 years which is a remarkable figure. Now again this has impacted the decline of the rice, sugarcane, cereals, oil seeds and other crops. There have been uh, disaster prone areas. The BRICS expansion and climate discourse has been important. There have been potential developments in the same. The Fukushima water release is again an important aspect. Now the discharge of water uh, has started from Fukushima. Now this has been a radioactive waste water uh, which has been uh, going into the Pacific Ocean. The nearby areas from Japan for example South Africa is highly, South Korea is highly concerned about the same. The next is the state of India's bird uh, 2023 report. Now it has shown a decline in the bird species, 60% of the species have declined. The report has been relying on 30 million bird observations by 
30,000 bird watchers across India and there are species which do not depend on the habitat for example Indian peafowl or Asian quail but there have been uh, shore breeding for the Arctic which has been declined nearly 80% migratory birds are facing uh, weather events starvation predation and illegal hunting which is again a grave matter of concern there are other areas of focus for example preservation habitat monitoring greater research in India's bird appropriate laws and policies the next is the state of hunger now global hunger index is another important index that we take into account uh, there are states which are on the bottom for example Bihar, Jharkhand and uh, Chhattisgarh you have other states which are top performers uh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Bihar on the bottom Ch Chandigarh, Sikkim and Puducherry on the top performance in the last decade we have seen that one third of the children under five have been stunted there have been underweight and numerous children have been suffering from wasting there have been escalations of the issues regarding the uh, global uh, hunger index and its calculation so uh, this has to be taken into account the graph for the same has been given here the low and the top performance and how do you compute it it basically focuses on undernourishment stunting wasting and under 5 mortality rate uh, now there have been various rounds through which this data has been studied the severity has been studied the drought actually affects the uh, nearby area now uh, there have been uh, gauging of the droughts across India and the progress of the drought has to be monitored. There are long term forecasts as well as short term forecasts for the same. We need to understand the model, pull it, pull it up and understand the mild drought and the mild wet period. There have been uh, forecasts for irrigation, for right crop choice and the crop suitability. Now climate change is again an important concern. Antarctica is facing the lowest ice cover in the past years. Again we have seen the ozone hole now developing again over Antarctica which is a matter of grave concern in Antarctica the temperature can go up to minus 98 degrees Celsius however the amount of ice deposition has been the snow deposition has been lowest since 1978 which is again a matter of concern and there is a five stigma event which means without changes in the climate such low ice covers could have happened in 7.5 million years which is again a grave matter of concern so this is a curve which demonstrate the five sigma events uh, the next is the arctic hole is fast developing and we can see the pace at which it is developing the forecasted pace which is very very high and therefore the extreme records of events which have been seen in Antarctica are the heat waves, minimum ice covers, the surface temperature going down, collapse of ice uh, shelves, marine heat waves which are seen and the Arctic bottom water has been impacted uh, which was once considered as the coldest and the densest water on the planet is now no more so. Uh, there have been various um, biological invasions which have been seen because of climate change, new species coming up, go 25 bird species are coming up there have been various uh, increase in the population biological invasion have been seen now the intergovernmental uh, platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services have done assessments on invasive uh, alien species and this report has been most comprehensive and important the Next is the alien species, some of them have been translocated, now some of the species, for example, the shore crab in North America, uh, the chitis fungus in Central America, pipe coral in South America, you have little fire ant in tropical Africa, lay, uh, Nile perch in Lake Victoria and so on are some of the invasive species which we have seen. The next is the fuels like ammonia and methanol have uh, helped the massive uh, shipping industry reduce the uh, emissions. Now, Man Energy Solutions, a German based company has been testing ammonia for marine engines and if this becomes successful, this would significantly reduce the amount of emissions into atmosphere. The International Maritime Organization has set a target for net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. There have been the sectors which are responsible for 3% of anthropogenic uh, greenhouse gas emissions and this has to be taken into account. Now, 
There are two types of green methanol, biomethanol and e-methanol. Biomethanol is derived from biogas, solid organic waste and bagas. E-methanol is made up of hydrogen produced from renewable electricity and carbon dioxide captured using direct air technology. Now since methanol has very high volume energy content than other fuels like ammonia and hydrogen, it is more suited for vessels and for longer voyages. Uh, the next is except LNG, all other fuels used in shipping are highly polluting in nature. Now uh, in India, the parliamentarians in the last 10 years have asked more than 1 lakh questions. However, the questions pertaining to uh, climate change, environment have been significantly low. The problems related to mitigation, adaptation, which needs to be a big cause of concern as of now. There have been reports by University of Chicago that North Plains of India is home to world's 50 most po polluted areas. So air quality index again comes into light. Similarly, in Himachal Pradesh, scrub typhus has been seen, which is a disease which is transmitted through fleas that thrive in grass during the rain period. Similarly, we have um, a rising habit for chocolate and sugar confectionaries which are related to risk factors for obesity and other diseases. There have been uh, various other health authorities which have been working for um, controlling the, uh, the mosquito population. For example, in Paris, tiger mosquitoes and control of tiger mosquito breeding sites has become very, very important. Hospitalization has been seen because of bacterial pneumonia outbreak in the regions of Poland, Reserov City. This is known as Ligonier's disease. Uh, Yasuni National Park is home to hundreds of species, amphibians and birds and therefore is the Ukador's largest deposit of oil that can be seen. So those are some of the important developments that we have seen in this edition. In case you have any questions or queries, feel free to post those in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to take those forward and the handouts for these are available at exam race. Thanks for joining in today.